Once upon a time, in the North Pole, there was a very special polar bear called Fluffy. He was not like other polar bears. He did not eat fish and he would certainly never eat a seal. They were too cute. No, this polar bear liked to eat Christmas food, Christmas pudding, gingerbread men, and eggnog. In fact, this polar bear liked everything about Christmas. His dearest wish was to one day work in Christmas town. Sometimes he would sit on the outskirts of town, watching the Christmas elves walking to work with hot chocolate in hand and wish he were walking beside them. One fine winter day, Fluffy the polar bear decided it was time to gather his courage and ask Santa for a job. He took his first few steps into town and the Christmas elves all turned and ran. A polar bear, he's going to eat us, they yelled and ran with arms flailing in the air. No, don't run, said the polar bear. I'm not going to eat you. I just want a job. A job, said the elf, shocked. Fluffy nodded. A timid little elf with fiery red hair stepped forward. A, a, a j job? Well, if that's all you want, then you better go and see Santa, she said, pointing to Santa's workshop at the top of the hill. Fluffy nodded gratefully and followed the candy cane path to Santa's workshop. When he came to the large front doors, Fluffy saw Santa sitting upon the Christmas throne, reading a large book of letters that had been sent by children and making notes with a long stripy pen. Oh ho, said Santa. I was told you were coming. So it's a job you'd like, Sir Polar Bear, said Santa. My friends call me Fluffy replied the bear. Then fluffy it is, said Santa. Well, we have never had a polar bear in Christmas town before, but there is a first for everything. Why don't we see if we can find a spot for you at the toy factory? Fluffy whooped with excitement. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, yes please. At the factory, the elves found a spot for Fluffy on the toy conveyor. When the toys come down, all you must do is pick them up in your mouth and pop them into the boxes. I can do that, Fluffy said. When the first toy came down the line, Fluffy picked it up with the utmost care. But alas, the toy went crunch under his big, powerful teeth. Oh dear, said Fluffy. I must be more gentle. Another toy came down the line, a lovely doll. Fluffy picked it up gently, gently, crunch, another broken toy. He tried his very best, but the toys kept breaking. I'm sorry, said the head elf, but this might not be the spot for you. Why don't you try the gift wrapping factory down the road? Fluffy nodded, apologized for the broken toys and was off. The gift wrapping factory was a beautiful place, full of colorful glittering rolls of paper and shimmering ribbons. The kind elves there gave him paint and a paintbrush to create Christmas patterns on the wrapping paper. At first, Fluffy did very well. He clutched the paintbrush in his paw and dabbed some lovely green and red dots onto the paper. But just as he was completing some lovely mistletoe, he stepped backward into a big pot of yellow paint. Flip, clonk, went the big polar bear, landing on his bottom, the yellow paint flying up in the air and spraying all over the room. Fluffy rolled over, knocking over another pot of paint. He slipped again, and even more pots of paint went flying. As if that wasn't enough, the poor polar bear stumbled into a roll of sticky tape. Soon he was a tangled mess of paint and tape. Oh, Fluffy, said the elves. They kindly helped him wash off the paint and unstick the tape. Ow, he said as they peeled it off his fur. Maybe the Christmas fairies could use your help? suggested the elves. They are always very busy making the flying potion for Santa and his reindeers. Fluffy was a very brave bear and courageously trotted off to his new assignment. When he arrived, the fairies were very pleased to see him. We need lots of pine tree needles very fast, said the fairies. Could you please run into the forest and collect as much as you can? Fluffy was very excited. He was fast and strong and knew that he could be very good at collecting things. He found a lovely big bunch of pine tree branches and carried them back in his mouth. The fairies were very excited when he returned and dropped the pine needles into the potion. 
But no sooner had the pine needles touched the potion than the whole pot went sludgy and green. Oh dear, said the fairies. There must have been something on those pine needles. It was... Oh, polar bear slobber. Fluffy had accidentally turned the whole potion to mud. He dribbled all over the pine needles and ruined it. A fairy gave it a little sip just to check, but she went as green as a Christmas tree. I'm sorry, polar bear, said the fairies. This might not be the right job for you either. Poor Fluffy's hopes were dashed. He trudged back to Santa's workshop with his head hung. But just as he was beginning the journey up the hill, he saw something. Dozens of tired elves were carrying large boxes down the hill. What are all those elves doing? asked Fluffy. Carrying supplies to the factories, replied an elf. Don't the reindeers do that? Reindeers? No. How much do you fancy for that? sniffed an elf. I could do it, said Fluffy. I'm strong and fast. If you find me a sleigh, we could load it with boxes and take them wherever they need to go. For real, said the elf. For real, said Fluffy. The elves crafted a wonderful sleigh for Fluffy and a special uniform all of his own. When his harness was strapped on, Fluffy took his first few steps and with a flurry of snow, he was off delivering boxes of supplies at the toy factory, the gift wrapping factory, and to the fairies of the lake. The people of Christmas Town rejoiced. From that day on, Fluffy was Christmas Town's official courier. In the mornings, he would drink hot chocolate with the elves on the way to work. And at the nightly dinners, he had a seat next to Santa and Christmas pudding for dessert. And that's how Fluffy the polar bear realized his dreams of working in Christmas Town. The end.